Well, there's been a lot of leaks out of the executive branch this year, and today Jim Comey openly admitted to being the source of one of them. The president tweeted on Friday after I got fired that I better hope there's not tapes. I woke up in the middle of the night on Monday night, because it didn't dawn on me originally, that there might be corroboration for our conversation. There might be a tape. And my judgment was I needed to get that out into the public square. And so I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter. So why didn't you give those to somebody yourself rather than give them through a third party? Because I was worried the media was camping at the end of my driveway at that point, and I was actually going out of town with my wife to hide, and I worried it would be like feeding seagulls at the beach. If, if, it was, if it was I who gave it to the media, so I asked my friend, make sure this gets out. Well, after Comey's testimony wrapped up, President Trump's attorney suggested that Comey was not honestly describing his behavior and maybe someone should investigate him. Although Mr. Comey testified that he only leaked the memos in response to a tweet, the public record reveals that the New York Times was quoting from those memos the day before the referenced tweet, which belies Mr. Comey's excuse for this unauthorized disclosure of privileged information and appears to be entirely retaliatory. We will leave it to the appropriate authorities to determine whether these leaks should be investigated along with all the others that are being investigated. So is it time for an investigation of James Comey? Dana Lash is a syndicated radio show host, and she joins us tonight. Dana, another investigation, this one of Comey. You for that? I think so. I think it warrants it, Tucker. Always good to see you. Oh, I, this idea that he, well, I wanted to make sure this got out, that seems to, that's a weird, that's a weird line of reasoning. I mean, it sounds like a Rube Goldberg strategy for just getting out something simple. Uh, and I don't think that Comey needed to complicate it that much. And as, a, as, as a Senator Marco Rubio said during the testimony, he, everything was leaked except for the fact that Trump wasn't under investigation, which of course explains that line at the end of the dismissal letter. Yes, you know, you told me, Mr. Comey, three times that I wasn't under investigation. All Comey had to do, Tucker, was come out and say, you know, he wasn't under investigation. This is exactly what happened. I think that he complicated this a lot for himself. Furthermore, I think that he also opened the door, perhaps for inquiry, into what happened with Loretta Lynch. I think I find it incredibly telling that Loretta Lynch was able to compromise the FBI and politicize the office of FBI director by getting the Department of the FBI to use language of Hillary Clinton campaign so as to benefit one candidate over the other during a, a general election. And I think that that, yes, I think that absolutely should be looked into. Furthermore, Tucker, it seems as though James Comey had a lot of benefit of the doubt to give Hillary Clinton and Huma Abedin, because remember, during the testimony, he said that he felt that they didn't, re, it didn't involve criminal intent, Huma Abedin forwarding those emails on to Carlos Danger, and of course, Hillary Clinton and her handling of all of this classified material. But yet, when it came to Donald Trump, who was not under investigation, he said, well, I just felt that he could possibly lie later, so I wanted to keep all of this written down. To me, when I watched this, there were so many red flags here that showed, at least in my opinion, that he was helping to politicize his position right. himself. And I don't think it would hurt anyone to further investigate this. Boy, if you live here, you recognize this immediately. His behavior is that of an entrenched bureaucrat whose main job is to keep his job. And you could multiply Jim Comey by 20,000, and that's the federal workforce. Dana Lash, thanks a lot for joining us.